Just over two weeks ago, LEGO released a Commander Cody Brickheads. Now, I couldn't wait to get to an official store because it is the only place you can pick up Brickheads or ordering online, but I'm not paying delivery just for a Brickhead, so I built my own using the instructions on lego.com and customized it to not only have Commander Cody's face, but also just improved the model by taking away the printed bricks. That's not all we did, as you saw by the thumbnail, the Brickheads itself is actually inaccurate to Commander Cody's Revenge of the Sith costume because it's missing one important thing, his backpack. Even in Clone Wars Season 7, they included the backpack on their Commander Cody, which did have the only difference that I could find between the Revenge of the Sith Phase 2 Commander Cody and the Clone Wars Phase 1 costume, besides the helmet, which is the obvious change, but the different coloured ammo pouch on the left side of his belt. It's grey, so it's definitely from Revenge of the Sith rather than a crossover between Clone Wars, yet they don't have his jump pack that he uses on Utapau. So not only will we be giving him his jump pack, I'll also be going over how I created a head for him, how you can change between the helmet head, and also at the end of the video, we'll be taking a look at a Phase 1 Commander Cody brick heads that I've built just for this video, as well as a bunch of other accessories. So let's start by taking a look at the jump pack for Commander Cody. Before we give Cody his jetpack, I'd first like to show off the changes I made to the front because unless you buy the official model from Lego or wait until someone ends up breaking theirs apart and selling the printed bricks on Bricklink, you won't have any of the printed bricks. So I have built these myself out of Lego and I sat there for a while trying to get the helmet correct. But what I've done is included two of these frying pan studs on the front with a jumper plate and this quarter round tile to make the rough shape of the front of the helmet. And I think it actually looks really cool. So Lego didn't even need to print these pieces for the official set. And then I've added another wedge on the torso of the brick head which gives it the orange we expect to see and sort of matches up the shape to the three stripes we find on his actual torso so i think it's a nice alternative to the printed brick also got a gray one by one for his commander badge which makes a nice touch and just completes the model but as i said on the back of this model they are missing Commander Cody's jetpack. It's just an ingot. I guess this works if he was to take off the jetpack. And this is his belt, by the way, at the bottom. It does look like they've given him some round butt cheeks, but it is just the accessories on the belt. You can see it if you get an image of Commander Cody. But what we will be doing is taking off this ingot, which isn't the easiest piece to take off, and replacing it with a jetpack. Now to create Commander Cody's jetpack to make this Brickhead's accurate to Revenge of the Sith, all I've done is got a 1x2 plate and clipped two of these white lightsaber hilts to the back of Cody. They're not two rare pieces to find, I know they're not the most common colours for these pieces, you probably could get away with just using regular lightsaber hilts, especially if you've got any of the grey ones laying around, the non-shiny grey ones, and then we'll take the ingot away and now Cody is looking a bit more accurate. Now, this is for the scene where Palpatine calls him in to execute Order 66. But what if you wanted to represent a different scene? Say, for instance, when Cody is handing Kenobi back his lightsaber. Well, to do that, first we've got to pop off the helmet. And you'll notice a few different things. First off, Cody's brain pops out. I have hollowed out the interior of this helmet. And actually, for both of these helmets, replace the black snot bricks with white ones just to match the inside of the helmet. I'm sure you could probably get away with using a few brackets, but to keep the brain in, I've used the same bricks that LEGO have in their official model. So the brain does pop out. This is, I guess, the main part of Cody that will be switching between the head and the helmet. It's to save having three different brains for this model, but I've also replaced all the black plates on here, the two 1x2s and the 2x4 with tiles, and that gives us four studs to connect the helmet, to connect the head, and make it easy enough to pop them off. I think it's a great thing. Lego could have included, perhaps for £13.50, the same price as a twin pack of brick heads, another helmet 
and we could just pop off the helmet, include a Cody head, and that would have been really, really cool. If they do end up doing a Rex one of these, we've seen a Cody and Rex helmet. We've now got Cody and Rex minifigures. If we do get a Rex one, I'll probably end up making a Rex one, actually. Stay tuned for a Rex Brickheads coming very, very soon. Then I'll definitely be carrying over this feature and would like for LEGO to do the same as Rex is definitely a clone we've seen just as much with his helmet off as with his helmet on. But now we've got the new head for Cody. We want to place the brain back in the middle. We can't have Cody missing his brain and perhaps it's even easier if we just place the brain inside the head. Nice and neat. And then we can pop on the head, but he's still got the Order 66 communications from Palpatine. So we're going to want to take that away. He's not calling Palps right now, but in fact, he is handing Kenobi back his lightsaber. So I have custom built this saber for Kenobi. It's got the gray bottom with the black. I guess they're like the windscreen wipers that they used for the actual prop. Now Kenobi's saber does have a gray handle to the saber, but I've used this black saber because it's also got some black rims around it. And then we've got the golden gray bit at the end with the emitter. You can see it is open, so you could fit a lightsaber blade in the side. Now, We'll hand this to Cody so he can hand it back to Kenobi and I nearly dropped the thing there. But it does clip nicely into Cody's hand. The brickheads are a bit hard to equip things because they're small and they don't really hold themselves down as well. And now we've got the Commander Cody from the scene where he's handing Kenobi back his saber. And it would be nice to have seen LEGO include a few different accessories. I can see why they don't because it's not the easiest thing to display and especially that lightsaber blade, it will go rolling around if you leave it on the site. But we've got a helmetless Cody. I've also included the scar above his eye, which I think is a key detail and helps recognize him compared to other clones without their helmets. As for the hair, I have smoothed off the sides because it just looks a bit sleeker than the studs, but I've included the studs on the top to act as the little spikes of his hair, as his hair does seem to spike up in Revenge of the Sith. As I said, you could even display the helmet on top and make it an extra tall brickheads. And now I want to see what a Kaminoan brickheads would look like, because it'd definitely be as tall as this. But I think it's really, really cool that we are able to build a head for Tamora Morrison, because... I mean, you get rid of the scar, this can be pretty much any other clone. And definitely you can change up the colours. We've seen Cody here. But if you were to make the orange or grey, you'd end up with a Commander Cody from the Bad Batch. And now you've seen the Revenge of the Sith Cody. What if we wanted to make him Phase 1 from early on in the Clone Wars? Well, first off, he won't be needing Kenobi's Saber, even though he does hold it a few times in Clone Wars and... There we go, it's rolling away again. Maybe I should stand that up next to. We will remove Cody's head, and the only other change you will need to make is changing that grey ammo pouch back to orange as it was earlier on in the Clone Wars. So we will remove it, and I do have a one by one in orange just here. So we can place that on, make sure not to knock off any of the other pieces. And first off, we will put the brain inside the phase one helmet and then placing it on, you can see it's not a perfect helmet and I've spent ages trying to make this work, but I think this is the closest we can get to a phase one commander, Cody. Let me know what you think down in the comments if you think this does look as good. Personally, I think the phase two looks better anyway, but I don't know, it's something about the face of this one. The helmet also drops down because of the proportions of the brick heads. The eyes had to be two studs up on the helmet, which meant I had to drop the plates down to create a more accurate front to it. And most of the helmet is actually looking quite nice, especially from the back. If you to turn it around, I think this is the best angle for this clone. But I do like how the phase one turned out. I would like to see a phase one trooper in brickheads. I think Lego would end up probably just giving us some printed pieces, like with the details on Maul or Ahsoka. It's a bit finicky to get looking good in Lego, but I hope you enjoyed this video. The Brickheads itself for Phase 2 Cody is actually really, really cool. And I think had I not built this, I'd have probably have ended up buying it myself. As you've seen, the Brickheads can be a bit fragile when you are changing it around. So perhaps that's another reason why 
Lego didn't give us any alternate expressions, but I really do like the Commander Cody Brickheads. I will definitely be building a Rex as well to go along with Cody, or perhaps I'll just switch up Cody as I do prefer Captain Rex. I don't know what could possibly give it away, but I am definitely a fan of clone Brickheads. Let's just hope they get a few more out before they end the series. A little like the helmets. Let me know what you think down in the comments about my modifications to this set. And also, are you planning or have you already picked up this set? Definitely let me know. And if you have, I'd definitely consider adding the backpack to the Phase 2 Cody because it does make it movie accurate and I can't believe it's a detail that LEGO have missed out. But if LEGO didn't miss out any details, I probably wouldn't be able to make half the videos that I do. Do consider liking the video if you did enjoy it and subscribe because at 100,000 subs, I will be building a life-size Star Destroyer. Yep, a 43 meter Star Destroyer built out of Lego bricks, so you don't want to miss out. Thank you so much for watching, and may the bricks be with you always.